So here of these Tortosa, um, I'm going here to this in red here, it's the Jewish quarters. Well, there's nobody there anymore, no Jews anyway. Now it's full of Arabs. And here there's something about the Jews in Catalonia. The Catalans, they, you know, they were very open, but then the king, he, um, he got rid of them all. Yeah. So here it says, in the 14th century, witnesses, so during the riots of 1391, uh, the Jewish quarters are plundered. So that's after the Templars' time. So I'm not really sure if the Templars did it. But anyway, the king did it, it's the same ones. So that's 100 years after the end of the Templars, or well, the so-called end, end. And then, in 1492, all the Jews, Jews, they were, through persecutions, they were expelled um, because of the, uh, the king. And, uh, well, here it says somewhere, it's, it's windy. So it was the king, you know, the, the, Catalan, the Catalonian people, they were really nice and all that. And so let's go and have a look. But it was the king, it's always the aristocracy. So I mean, if those Jews, they get expelled, as it says here, and, and, they, and they, they did, you know, then it means they're not the ones in control, as I've been telling you. you know, it's the aristocracy, always been and always will, and they're pharaohs. This is Ayun Barria, Barrio Judíos, the Judíos, and los Templarios. I mean, we are Templarios. I mean, matar todos los Judíos. Yo, dicen, pero yo, la historia dice esto. Okay, la historia dice esto. Pero vamos, yo. So, so the man he just told me there's a a a part of the city there where these Templars they they killed all the Jews. It was a Jewish quarter. And. Uh, I got this nice little booklet, Domus Templi. You know that means the house, the, the houses of the Templars. And look, here it says. You know, it's in French, but um, you know, here it says. Here are the and this river is very important. I filmed this one. It's all Templars castles. So Tortosa, where I am now, like this one here. I filmed it before. It is, in fact, a Templar's castle. The old man was right. You know, they lied to us in history, so he was right about the Jews as well, that the Templars killed the Jews. The same thing they did, like, you know, uh, 800 years later, with the Second World War, with the, uh, the death squadrons called the SS Einsatzgruppen, because they were the Nazi Templars, with the Swiss guy at the head, uh, SS Standartenführer Karl Jäger, from Schaffhausen, Switzerland. It's Switzerland, it's the Knights Templars, they murdered all the Jews in that area here. Uh, sometimes, many times, on many occasions, it's far better, you know, to, to ask the locals, because all the history books, it's all a lie, you know. And so, Tortosa, yeah. But it was a, a Mos uh, Islamic castle first, but the Templars actually, they, they built almost 90% of it, probably. And then there's Miravet. I'm, go I'm gonna go there. I probably have to walk the whole bloody way because hitchhiking is, um, is not good. But there are tourists. This one here, and there is Monzon. And I filmed this one, Peniscola, Peniscola, on the, on the motorway. You know, it's next to the, uh, uh, to the coast. So it is, folks, it is a Templar's castle. The Templars, they were everywhere. You know, like the McDonald's. It's not like a rare group, you know, we have to defend and we have to culture and, you know, protect and... No, no, no. If you want to write them, go ahead. So, it's a bit windy, so it's a bit difficult. Here you can read it, you know, it says here. Here's in English. Miravet and the Templars, they, you know, they build most of that castle there. It is a, 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 from another booklet. It says everywhere, eh? And the old man was right. Knights Templars. It's a Knights Templars castle. And this is what I wanted to show you. They were everywhere. All right. And they are pharaohs. <clears throat> and there is always, you know, in all these wars, there's the enemy within, you know. It was having death squadrons. So the people who don't want to pay taxes, like the, like the Jew boys, you know, do their business among each other to get rich. And, well, I mean, they're right. 
you know, the aristocracy don't like it. So they've got death squadrons in all the wars, like the SS Einsatzgruppen, who, like, they pretend it's a war, like, between two, two fractions, you know. But actually, it's uh, inside of their war, there are death squads. Pharaoh. Well, you know what? If those Jews had all the power, why are they not here anymore? So here it says, under the king's orders, the local authorities decided the imprisonment of the Jews in the castle of La Suda in order, uh, in order to protect them. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Uh, something different then. Well, I mean, what those kings say, you know, you never know, in order to protect them. But anyway, in the end, they were all kicked out anyway here, yeah, like in 1492. You never know with those kings, you know, they they're just lie. And here's a part of the town which is called El Temple. It says Cap del Temple, the whole way I, you know, this part here. Well, I'm not sure if I want to go there, well, maybe. And uh, so that's a reference to the Templars. So here you can see all the walls around it. Templars made it. And there you can see the backside of that Templars castle. Look at that. It's really huge. You know, when they were kicked out of France, you know, when they're having problems, uh, they got really strong here in Spain and Portugal. In Portugal, they never disappeared, right? As in Switzerland. The fleet went to Portugal and Scotland. The Scottish right. Okay. Like Tomar, it's a big castle in Portugal, but here in Spain, it's wow. And look, old Templars, Templar stuff, eh? And they made a hotel out of it. Look at that, the square, the checkerboard thing of the Masons. You see, they made a hotel out of it. Yeah, look. It's everywhere police here in this place. Here. Oh, you man. Probably moaning again, put on your t-shirt. Is that him? Wow, fuck you. Yeah. It's the way up here. And even the uh, the Arabs already talked about it. It's a geographer. Geographer. Uh, Al Im Yari. Uh, Ri for the sun, eh? Yeah. So this is the way going up here to the castle. It probably belonged to everybody, you know, at certain time and moment in history, once to the Templars, once to the Arabs, once to the Caliph, once to the King. They just, you know, now it's yours, it's like Monopoly, you know, I sell you this, I sell you Africa, or you buy America or whatever, you know. It's really a huge Templars castle. And I made a hotel for the Masons, right? You know, it's going all the way here. There. See that? Oh. So here it says the castle of uh, the La Suda, Islamic, Romanic. Well, I'd, I'd say it's more like Pharaonic. There you go. All right. There you go. This is what an Islamic castle looks like in Spain. Hey. And uh, of course it was not the people again, but it was the Caliph, the Sultan, just like the King of Saudi Arabia, it's the Pharaohs. So all these wannabe Muslims who think it's the, the Khalifa, the Caliphate, it's not theirs, it's not, they didn't do that. So there it is, it, it, were, it was built by the Islamic aristocracy, the Pharaohs of Arabia. And that was taken over by the uh, by the Templars, the Order of the Temple. So they were all there, all the dudes this 11th century, and then later on, 1148, it was taken over. Oh, yeah. well, here, 1294, after the Templars, the Catalan crown. You know what? I can't see it now, but I'll check it out later on the computer what, what that means. Yeah, look, the Arabs sitting there, but they look like from the Emirates. They probably are the descendants, you know, they look like the upper class Arabs. 
Africa, not, not the normal ones you see here, like from Northern Africa. These look very different than from the North Africans we have here all over Europe. These are from the Emirates, you can see that. They are probably the true descendants, otherwise they wouldn't make all the way to here, you know. They're the true descendants of this here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only thing there is to see, something about the synagogue or something. Yeah, now they only speak Arabic here. They're all like chased away. You see that? So it's a lot of... Hello. A lot of narrow streets here. Interesting. So it's like an Arab place here. So oh, here was the synagogue, look at that. So it says in English, so if the Jews would be the masters of the world, they would still be here. It would be, you know, thriving, you know. But it isn't here. They're all gone. All murdered by the Knights Templars. As they did like 800 years later, with the SS Einsatzgruppen now. There you go, the Jewish quarter. Uh, no, they're all Arabs. Well, why would a Jew give it all to the Arabs? Come on. I tell you, they're not the masters of the world. It's nice here. I like it. It's a special atmosphere. Uh, they call this road next to the synagogue the uh, Travesia Jerusalem. Uh, nothing more. There we go. There all these narrow streets here. Oh, like in an Arab place here. Well, it is an Arab place. It's all it's so many Muslims here. There's more than Cat Catalans here. And all these narrow streets. So there was the Jewish quarter here. And all living like next to together. It's next to all together, like they like it. But anyway, I was looking for the Knights Templars, so let's get out of here, get a scoff. Yeah, it's interesting. They even found like uh, the, the probably the earliest in the time of the Visigoth, some uh, Jewish. So what is that like? 500 after or 600 in the Dark Ages, eh? From five to uh, yeah. Well. So the Jews, it says here. Well, it, they came mid eighth century, like uh, oh they, no, they they finished the the Talmud. So everybody, you know think like uh, or they say bad things in the Talmud that every you know all the the goy you know you, you can do bad things to them but you know the 8th century the Jews they had never seen a white northern European man ever before in their lives you know because they came later well they came like end of the 8th centuries yeah here so that means they don't address us with it you know I understand, you know, with all these Middle Middle Eastern blokes there, you know, that they they also got fed up with them, you know, and they probably made like these laws like, you know, you can steal from them or whatever because they probably did the same to them. But they're not talking about us white people in the Talmud, you know, not possible. There were no white Europeans in Babylonia, a hey, wakey wakey, yeah. So here, Al Mansur, he devastates Barcelona. And all the, the Jews, they get murdered, and it all goes to the Count Ramon Borel, the aristocracy, in 985. It's always the aristocracy profiting. Here the Jews, they have to, in 1215, they, the fourth council, they have to wear badges on their clothing. And here, Louis IX, in 1254, he expelled all the, the, uh, the Jews of France. Here, uh, 1290. That's uh, 1291, the end of the Crusades, expulsion of the Jews of England, King Philip the Fair. Oh, the expulsion of the Jews again. So not only the Templars, but also the King Philip. In a way, I like King Philip the, Fourth, the Fair because he combated the Templars. In 1313, James II orders the Jew to wear a cape in a, in a circle. Oh, 1322, Charles IV decrees a new expulsion of the Jews of France and the Black Death, a lot of murders on the Jews, and, and that's 1348. So, 
you know, all your people saying that, well, you know, they are the masters of the world. No, <laughs> you know, they, they get expelled everywhere. They have, they have to wear some stuff on their clothes. They get murdered. And no, I don't see anything, you know. And in this Talmud thing, you know, they, they, they don't talk about those whiteies. You know, this Babylonian, it's a Bab Babylonian book. Hey, so I just read this here. Interesting, I was here, you know, and police looking for somebody, you know, I think so. I saw a, a group of Jews and they said, wow, glad we're still here. I saw too late there were Jews actually, I didn't know, I heard them speak English. I heard them say, oh, anyway, we're still here. God, uh, thank God we're still here. Maybe they got attacked or something. I saw the police like going after people. You know, I don't know what happened. Yeah. So, Templar's Castle, hey. Eh? Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's huge. That's a hotel. I was up there, but it's nothing much to see. Okay. Pharaoh, Templars, Jew boys, me. Right. Let's go hitchhiking.